All right guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about something that I, I know a lot of you guys are worrying about, which is, is my application good enough to get into medical school? And I totally get that sentiment. In this video, I'm going to give you the four qualities that you need to evaluate whether or not your application has, because if you have all four of these qualities, you're going to have a stress-free application process. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. In this video, we're gonna talk about the four qualities you need to make sure your med school application has in order to have a stress-free application cycle. Now, let's start with a scenario because I want you to understand um, two different types of students, okay? So student number one is a pre-med who is a biology major, has an MCAT when she or he took it of a 510, pretty good, and a GPA of a 3.8, so also good in numbers. Um, he or she did typical volunteer experiences, um, typical pre-med organizations, and uh, they're worried on whether or not they can get into med school. Now let's compare them to our second student, which is not a bio major. Um, they have the same grades though. They have like a 508, 510 uh, MCAT score, and um, they have a GPA of a 3.7, so very comparable. Their major could be anything. They could be a business major, they could be a journalism major, art major, um, but they've kind of discovered medicine in a unique pattern. They may have done an interesting community service project, and they found the medicine side of it pretty interesting. So they explored it a little bit, and that led them to experience number two, Maybe it was a research experience. And that led them to uh, experience number three. Maybe that was an organization on campus. But at the very end, each of those experiences that they did, that may have only been three to four, they were able to kind of progress in each of them. And so there was a clear start and finish on what they were able to grow into in each of those roles. And, and then they were applying to med school. So here's the question, which student, A or B, comment down below before I give you the answer, do you think is going to have a more stress-free experience when they're applying to medical school? I'll wait a second. So the answer every single time, guys, is that student B is going to be the more um, attractive applicant as well as the applicant that's not as stressed. So I totally get it. I was a student that started off on student A's route, which is I thought a bio major is what pre-meds should do. And I thought that's what medical schools wanted. So I did one. I thought that the typical pre-med organizations and the volunteer experiences like volunteering in a hospital is what I should be doing in to get into medical school. And while that may be a route that still works, you have to understand that every single person thinks like that and every single person are going to do those organizations and community service projects versus student B who has a very unique route. And so the application is much different than everybody else, but they're convinced they want to go to medical school. They have grades to prove it. That's the the more attractive applicant. And comparing student A to B, student B is going to be the one that gets into medical school every single time. So let's talk about the four qualities that your application should have. And you should be able to see examples in student B's application versus student A's. So the number one is what I like to call the angle. So the angle is just a fancy way of saying, what does your application have that's unique, that's different than everybody else? And um, this can be a background of yours, like, you know, whether you had some interesting childhood experiences, whether you grew up in an interesting place, this could be your major. If you don't do a bio major and you choose to go into college and you do journalism, art, business, whatever it may be, um, that's an interesting angle. Um, this may be your age. Maybe you came back to school because you had a different career, but now you want to go into medicine. Find your angle. Everybody has one regardless of how, you know, bland you think you are or typical pre-med you think you are. But you can rely on your angle. You can fall back on your angle and make the rest of your experiences kind of echo where your angle is. So we had a student that had maybe a journalism major and they decided to write about like healthcare disparities. And that led them to looking into research into public health. It, it helps you flow into the new experiences you want when you can see what makes me interesting? What hobbies do I like that I love to do? And how can I use that to navigate a med school application? So find your angle, whatever is unique about you and see what experiences around you you can do that can lead you into medicine that can project a, a medical school applicant, um, but it's going to be a very unique approach. So the second quality that you wanna make sure your application has is cohesion. 
So you saw how in student B's application, each experience kind of led to the next one. They found an interest and then that led them to um, being intrigued by something else. And they found an organization or a research project that you, you know, uh, nicely uh, complemented that interest. So versus student A who's just doing you know everything and trying to do as many experiences to put them on the application to look impressive. You know, sometimes volume looks impressive until you do, you know, dig deep and realize that you're just like everybody else. So find cohesion. See if your experiences, your opportunities can kind of relate to each other. And if you have an angle, then you have a much easier chance of finding cohesion because everything you do kind of is uh, corresponds and surrounds around that angle. So find cohesion. See how you get from one experience to another. Um, and if you're very early into your pre-med journey, this is a great challenge for you. Seeing how can you take one interest and what opportunities, what organizations are on campus that reflect that and seeing what you learn about yourself, about your interest in medicine, and how can that lead you to experience number two. So if you're later on the journey, this is not the time to freak out and be like, oh crap, I don't have cohesion. Um, just look at the experiences you've done and seeing what's the, like, the common theme that resonates through all of them. That may be your angle, that may be something that really you love. Maybe you enjoy leadership and all the things that you've done um, surround around leadership in a uh, form or fashion. Maybe you enjoy research, maybe you enjoy mentorship. See what uh, common thread is consistent amongst all your experiences and make that your cohesion. Um, but it's much easier to write about things in your personal statement and your application when you can see the flow versus just looking at all your experiences in an isolated form. So hopefully that makes sense. Have cohesion in your application. So the third quality that you need to make sure your application has is progression. So going back to student A, they did every experience, they had a lot of experiences, but there wasn't really a good example of them choosing one role and the next semester they had a bigger role and then the third semester they had more responsibility. They weren't able to show that they were able to progress. In medicine, you progress. As a med student, you go from the first year to the fourth year. Um, you become a resident and you progress through your years. It's much easier to convince medical schools and admission boards that you're right for them if you can show you can be consistent and grow as a person and in the experience itself. So if you do a volunteer experience, seeing how you can go from the role you start with to a bigger and more involved role. Extracurriculars like uh, school organizations are great opportunities to do this, where you start out as a member, you enjoy it, you're involved, and then you get some type of leadership experience, and then maybe you progress to an even higher position every single year. You're just making a bigger impact. So you don't have to have a lot of organizations you're involved in. You can choose four to five, but you can write about a lot of things in your application if you have multiple roles that are progressing to bigger and bigger roles and bigger and bigger impacts um, throughout the same organization. So hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you have some form of progression in your application. So the fourth quality, and we've kind of talked about this and echoed this uh, sentiment throughout the other qualities, but you need to have passion in your application. Don't choose experiences just because that's what you think a typical pre-med needs to do. Because a typical pre-med guys, when they apply to medical school, unless they have a stellar MCAT and GPA, um, they are stressed out of whether or not gonna get, they're going to get into medical school. Do you want to be one of those students? The answer is no. Instead, you wanna have a stress-free um, experience. So to do that, make sure everything you're doing echoes something that you actually enjoy. Do you enjoy community service and do you enjoy that particular type of community service? If so, do it. So if you have an experience and you don't actually enjoy doing it, like cut bait, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing those experiences. So if you don't enjoy a particular type of research, that doesn't mean you should totally cut off research um, from your uh, experiences. Just find another one that actually intrigues you. But at the very end, guys, when you combine these four qualities of angle, cohesion, progression, and passion, somebody's going to be able to look at your applications like, huh, this is an interesting applicant. They have good grades, but I've never seen anybody within my thousands of people that I've read through so far that have this type of application. You want to be that student because you know that when you turn it in, you're confident as I was when I finished this process because I eventually got to using these qualities um, at the end of my college experience. I knew when I turned my application in, no one had on paper what I had and it made me very unique. So you can go through the process with much less stress knowing you've done everything you wanted and your application represents you. Um, and so if you use these four qualities, guys, you can make sure that your application process is so less stressful. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you enjoy this video guys and you enjoy these qualities and you kind of want more like this, you, you want more direction on your pre-med journey. If you want to learn how to study, if you want to learn how to manage your time, study for the freaking MCAT. 
um, and also get through the application process. That, that includes like research, uh, that includes um, interviewing, personal statements, how to actually look into medical schools. Check out uh, one of my courses called the Pre-Med Blueprint, which is basically the advice I would have given to myself um, as a pre-med from day one to the very end of the application cycle of getting accepted. Um, if many of my students that have taken the course already have really enjoyed it, so I'll link it down below. Because you made it to the very end of the video, use Angle 20, so that's one of the qualities that we talked about. So use Angle 20 to get 20% off on the course, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll link it down below. but. Even if you don't check out the course, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. And if you have any more questions about the pre-med journey whatsoever, just let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but like this video if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.